Hello my soccer universe to the first La Liga review of the season. To be fair, La Liga has not grabbed me yet as much as the other other leagues. Let's put that that way. However, I think they are about to really really grab me. I think this might be a really interesting La Liga campaign and I think it is mainly down to the teenage sensations one would like to say. Uh, mainly at the two big clubs, yes. Both of them are not yet the dominating forces that we are used to see from them. However, they have some exciting young players. Uh, we have on one side at Barcelona, Laminia Yamal, a 16-year-old who plays like a... He has been playing there forever, the, where the big stage does not um, scare him in any way. And then, of course, we have an even more mature player. Yes, literally, but also in the way of playing in Jude Bellingham, who just pops up at Real Madrid and acts like he has been playing for them for ages. And on top of that, having an incredible scoring streak. Scored in every single game. The game winner, usually. Even though if Madrid wouldn't have deserved it, but Real Madrid are still the best team out there. We also had the, of course, interesting new stadiums. We now, the past round, we saw for the first time the new Bernabeu, which is basically the old Bernabeu in new casing. Um, I find it rather impressive looking, having been at the old Bernabeu. I still have a little bit, geographically a little bit, uh, it doesn't look quite right yet, but you know, maybe have to take a quick, quicker look. Uh, I can't close the roof. Not sure what I think about that. I actually like the look of the old Bernabeu, so uh, maybe that's why I'm not, and I am not so sure about the new camp now. I was not, I'm not, I also like the shape of the old camp now quite some, although probably I ag agree could have used some work on the inside. I will also Barca up a much week, uh, half empty stadium doesn't look good at all. Uh, I think this might could be a factor uh, in the support that you're receiving at least on the Real Madrid side. I mean, I always find the Real Madrid fan block to be one of the most ridiculous ones out there. And I'm saying this right, right, right now because I know how Real Madrid fans usually are. Uh, they're like Barcelona fans, you know, you only show up for the big um, games and then you're allowed. At least they have a fan, fan block. It seems so ridiculously small as compared to, let's say, uh, San Siro or uh, Dortmund or what, 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 whatever. I always, always get a chucky out of this white block there. But yeah, that's just me. But yeah, those are the uh, two main ones. As I have said in previous videos, uh, everything that I have made in September so far, uh, since I've been on vacation, I have been not making uh, review videos, but I made community posts and I have made community posts already for uh, the smaller leagues where I haven't gotten it yet around to. If you want to have a little bit more on my thoughts on the first three rounds of La Liga, please check those because there's probably a little bit more in there than what I'm going to do here. I'm just going to hit some highlights right now. And uh, let's start here with a round one. I mean, uh, the first highlight is, I think... Real Madrid was supposed to have a tough match against Athletic Club and it actually really wasn't all that tough. Uh, yes, they had to work hard, but after the first half, it was already clear that Real Madrid are, are, are going to win this one, especially Jude Bellingham, making his first mark on the Spanish scene. I think uh, for me, a surprise result was that Valencia got a win at Sevilla's actual match. I watched a little bit and I was pleased to see the Valencia's car kind of back. But you already saw that Sevilla are in trouble and this will be a threat. Sevilla are really, really in trouble this time around. Uh, Betis got a big opening day win at Villarreal and Getafe just frustrated Barcelona to the nth degree uh, in a game that took like forever because uh, similar to the Premier League, they have the long stoppage time rules now. Atletico Madrid opened with 3-1 against a very well-playing Granada team. Uh, then in round two, um, again, um, Valencia uh, for following up, Villarreal also can win. Uh, Real Madrid 3-1 away to Almeria, a place they had also some trouble last season, but got the win this time around as well. This time around, Bellingham. Then a uh, Navarre Basque Derby, where Athletic Club get the season off to a good start. Tuni like Osasuna. Um, we had Barcelona working hard to get the Tunilova Cardiff and then Betis against Atletico Madrid. Uh, a game that 
practice created quite some some, some transits but couldn't get it done and then we had also Alaves against Sevilla, a uh, really, really, really mad game. Probably, I mean, uh, out of the first two, two games, Sevilla probably would have deserved a teeny bit more than they had with just zero points showing. But that was a really crazy game. I mean, if, uh, Sevilla had had a, had a two-one lead late in the first half and when uh, Alaves turned around 4-4-2 four, four, and very late on it was the third goal. Uh, also kind of a little bit of trend, a little bit more goals in the Liga being scored, probably due to the late kickoffs than we used to. Uh, and also Rayo get a second win and you thought, ha, huh, Rayo might actually have a really good start to the season. But it really wasn't meant to be because FCC on the bottom, Atletico Madrid in the first home game for Rayo, 7-0. <laughs> That was a stamp. That was a real stamp. We might actually think that Atletico Madrid this time could be in there in the in the title race. Uh, and for Rayo, we always had, you know, uh, with Iraola going to Bournemouth, uh, he was the guy who actually gave uh, Rayo its identity and it might not be showing quite, quite as well. Also, if you're a TSFP listener, the Spanish football podcast, and I highly rare, rare recommend to you, you would know that one of the hosts queued for 12 hours in the heat to get season tickets for Rayo think for that they deserved to get beaten that much but Celta de Vigo had their 100th anniversary party uh, duly call <laughs> pooped on by Real Madrid to get a late uh, goal I mean I think they also missed the pen penalty it was an even game um, but in the end Real Madrid win it uh, Girona went away to win against Sevilla third loss in a row doesn't look good Then another crazy game Barcelona winning at Villarreal 4-3. They had a 2 lead against the run of play. Uh, Villarreal came back early in the second half, had a 3-2 lead. And then ran out of out of Steven Barcelona, scored two more in the end, probably deserved. Uh, Osasuna beat Valencia. Athletic Club came back from two goals down to beat Betis, who also had a pretty good start, 4-2. And we, and we already said that Atletico Madrid against the Rayo. So those were the highlights from the first three rounds. In the past round, another crazy game. I mean, we we getting these crazy games uh, uh, left and right. And if you I have if you saw I have haven't mentioned much of Real Sociedad this time around. Uh, they barely had scored any goals. They ha uh, had scored uh, one in the first round, one against Real Sociedad, and then two nil nil draws. Uh, of course, they're gonna go then in a five. Win over Granada and Granada might be a fun team team to watch. There were some really nice goals in there for Real Sociedad as well, and, and again for the sequence 2 1 at the half. Then Real Sociedad had a 5 1 lead, and very late, late on, uh, there were two goals for uh, Granada. Uh, Real Madrid had to make were made to work hard. First home game of, 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 of the season, uh, the Bernabe roof was closed, of course, because there were threats of rain and i know this is for someone living in austria uh rather funny but i can see that in spain this causes trouble i've seen it how trouble it can cause for instance in california um getafe took a one one, one lead but uh jose Lu actually got an equal e e e threatening hitting the woodwork left and right until bellingham is stoppage time again bellingham scoring the winner uh valencia seemingly going a little, little bit sideways uh we also had another loss for rayo so you know while rayo had a had, had good start to, to, to the season as soon as they hit the better teams uh doesn't look as good anymore at least they didn't concede seven atletico against sevilla was caught called off because of potential torrential rain which never came but yeah i guess better safe than sorry this is now rumored to be played at the very very end of the year and then also soon against Barcelona, where Barcelona was more or less rumbling and stumbling into a win. Uh, I think it was a Lewandowski uh, a penalty late on that was kind of a little bit softish. One would say Osasuna would probably have deserved something out of this on the other side. I think Barcelona also did enough. Um, and so we have currently, there's only one team that had a perfect start. It's Real Madrid and it's even more impressive. Uh, with four uh, out, of, out of four games, there were three away wins. But same thing goes for Barcelona, who also three away games. But you know they were first right back at Getafe, which Real Madrid were really not. But again, uh, the Getafe game for Real Madrid was a home game, not like for Barcelona. 
on the bottom Sevilla uh, yes it looks now a little bit worse because they even have a game less they also got Sergio Ramos which is one of those weird transfers and yeah speaking of weird transfers Joao Felix to uh, Barcelona is even weirder than that but we see already Real Madrid Barcelona Atletico Madrid are up there and then there's Girona a team that actually has quite a plan I would say that's definitely an interesting team to watch Athletic Club also uh, being up there but I think it's really early to see uh, where things might, 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 might be going so let's uh, look look at the expected things we have uh, one to three Real Madrid Barcelona Atletico Madrid at the moment but you know um, it's always five points in between them there could be some swings have happening uh, Real Sociedad and Betis are probably third and four, uh, fourth and fifth and Athletic Club in sixth position when we come back we get a traditional duel with Valencia against Atletico Madrid. We get a Barcelona Betis game that usually delivers many goals. Uh, when I say Barcelona Betis, I always imagine the camp now. I know this time around it will be a much emptier stadium. We have also Real Madrid against the Real Sociedad. So quite some interesting matches. Not nothing really title deciding, but interesting nonetheless. So that's it from me from La Liga. Please give a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!